So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the, the Holy, Father, Spirit. The Son of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Lord, as Lord, we ask. come tonight, we ask you to send us your Holy Spirit. As you have sent the same spirit to St. Augustine, one of the great saints of the church. And with him, we may as well learn to walk in the life of conversion, having you, listening to you, and accepting you in our lives. And like him, we, we shout as well, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Lord, thank you for this moment once more, for this great privilege and opportunity to listen to you, but above all, to encounter you. Again, we pray, O oh Lord, for the members of our families and our loved ones, and those who are interested to us, wherever they are, please keep them safe and give them always the blessings they need, so that as they journey today, they may have always the light of life. For us who are in this Zoom, a sure platform of your presence, move our hearts to the same spirit, to your love, to be able to see the talents that you have given us. And as we recognize these talents, and these talents, we may leave them to the full. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to, to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Glory O Lord. To you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went up and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you o Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning and good evening. The Lord be with you all. Evening. And with your spirit, you realize Father. for the last spirit. days, we were reflecting on the words, stay awake and be prepared because the master will come anytime or the Lord will come anytime. So when he knocks at us, when he calls us, we should be ready as well with our oil of love so much so that we'll merit the kingdom of heaven. We continue this gospel on the last chapters of St. Matthew because from staying awake and be prepared comes two things. And what are they? Our stewardship and accountability. The Lord is giving us the gift of life, the gift of love, the gift of faith, the gift of each one. And we call them as well talents, resources, financial, 
material things, but above all, human resources and even spiritual resources for us to use and develop so that at the end of the day, as a person, as a follower, as a disciple of God, we grow according to his plan, we grow according to his will, and no one is taken for granted. We have all those talents in order for us to use them, not only to beautify ourselves, not only to eat, not only just to have something, but above all, to grow in our love for the Lord. After all, we are all created to live, to love, and encounter, and ultimately to be happy with the Lord. So much so that these talents, we are called to be stewards. <clears throat> we are called to take good care of them. In the parable, there are three who were given, five, two, and one. The five had invested for another five. The two had invested for another two. And the one is simply buried it because he seemed to know the master. But in knowing the master, that he did not appreciate the gift that has been given to him, so much so that it did not earn. And so when time, which is a second point of accountability comes, the first two did really and were accountable. And they have realized, they have perfected their talents. But the one who had only one was not able to do it because of his biases, because of the way he sees life, but even the way he is in relationship with the master. Stewardship and accountabilities are two things that would make us render everything in the hands or as well as in the eyes of the Lord. And every day of our journey is being accountable of what the Lord has given us and being stewards as well that would mean to take good care. In the world of wastage, in the world of instant, the Lord is asking us to see all these resources, talents of ours, if they are really to glorify the Lord. Because afterwards, we have to render to him what he has given to us. And perhaps in a very personal way, we ask ourselves, how many talents are given to us or were given to us? Did we develop them to the full? So much as we say, develop them to the full, become pleasing in the eyes of the Lord, rendering service for God so that we can glorify and praise him. And as well as it is for the good of our neighbors or those who are with us. The beautiful thing of the stewardship and accountabilities are none other than God's gifts we say are abundant. So much so that when we say God's gifts are abundant, then truly we can live our life to the full. We can live our life with God. We can live everything so that at the end of the day, we become truly masterpieces and we call that one in Genesis the images and likeness of God. You see, the Lord does not simply want us to wallow in our pain, in our grief, in our poverty, in our situation, wherever we are in. He wanted a happy life for us, abundant life for us, a life of blessing. All the times it is inevitable, even a life that can sacrifice, a life that has sickness, a life that has also its suffering. Because first and foremost, he led us the way as well. So much so that when he created us, he wanted to tell us, you have everything in the world. All of these are your talents. Develop yourselves and grow accordingly. I always say when I was in multinational, for you who were born in the smell of the canal of the informal settlers, it's not your fault. You smell the, the dirt and everything. But when you still die with the dirt of the canal and you did not do something, then you are also accountable to the Lord because you did not use the manifold blessings and the manifold gifts of God. For where we are now, we see how the Lord has been so gracious to us, how the Lord has been so abundant to us because we have received many talents. And so in receiving those many talents that at the end from stewardship, to accountability, then the words of gratitude should be always a language of the one who is prepared for the coming of the Lord. 
that when the Lord comes, as we are staying awake, we can simply say, Lord, thank you. These are what you have given to me. I return it to you with gratitude. And thank you for the privilege of having all these things because I live my life to the full and you have sown joy, contentment, and peace and serenity. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for the abundance. Thank you for the abundance of your gifts and talents given to me. Of your, of gifts, your and gifts and talents and given to me. My life and health. My, my life, and, life health. and health. My family and what I have. My family and what I have. And what I have. My profession and my friendships. My, my profession and my friendships. And my friendships. And my friendships. The possibility of seeing the world. The possibility, the possibility of, of seeing, seeing the world. The world. Seeing the and the world. mission that you have entrusted to me. And the, and the mission, mission you have entrusted, entrusted to, me. to me. All of which come from your goodness. All of which, All of which come from your goodness. goodness. Today, O oh Lord. Today, O oh Lord. You taught us how to be good stewards. You taught, you taught us how to be, to be good stewards. stewards. And to be accountable stewards. And to be accountable, to be accountable stewards. stewards. And all the more grateful stewards. And all the more, the more, all grateful, the more stewards. grateful stewards. Lord, we would like to follow. Lord, Lord we, would we would like, like to, follow. Follow. to follow. The servants who received the five and the two talents. The servants who received the five and two talents. And you have commended them. And you have, you have commended them. With the words, well done. With the words, well done. Well done. Well done. Lord, we will continue. Lord, we will continue. Lord, we will continue. To discover and see still. To discover and see still. The talents that are not developed in us. So that at the end of the day, so that by the end of the day, end of the day, we'll be able to use them to glorify you. We may be able to use them to glorify you and to work for the common good. And to work for the common good. Bless us, O Lord. Bless, Bless us, o Lord, o Lord, Lord, unworthy servants of yours. Unworthy servants. But with your mercy and love. And with your mercy, your mercy, your mercy and, love. and love. Make us worthy for you. Make us, make us worthy, for you. worthy for you. And with St. Augustine, finally. And with St. Augustine, Saint Augustine, Augustine finally, finally. We can only proclaim. Mm -hmm. We can, can only proclaim, proclaim, proclaim that our hearts are restless. That our, that our, hearts, our hearts, are hearts, are hearts are restless until they rest in you. Until, until they rest in you. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mother, Mary God, Mother of God, God, God pray, for, pray for us in the now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Saint Michael the Defender, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Healer, pray for us. For us. Saint Gabriel, pray, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Hannibal Mary de Francia. Pray, pray for us. Send, O Lord. Holy, Holy apostles, apostles into your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the and the Father, Son, the, the, Holy Son, Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good Amen. And good morning. Good evening, good evening Father. Father. Once again, very nice. Good evening, Thank you, Potita. Father. Thank you, Father. Good evening, Tita. Welcome, Potita. As always. As always. No? <laughs> what, what a day to start the, the weekend.
Oh yes. Thank you very much, Father. So welcome for this. So it's your rest day this weekend, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday, so Saturday, Saturday, finally. Are you getting ah, wow. ready for the Holy Land trip with Father Danny? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's in the process of planning. We should be. We should when? be. Yes, Father. Yes. According. Please go ahead, Tito Mani. The gospel is very quite long, but it is very powerful, strong. Everyone, <clears throat> everyone, nobody, not, no exemption, is given a talent. All of us have a different kind of talent. It says here, according to his ability. If you are a genius, your talent will be different from an average person. But the thing here is, how do you use your talent? That's the question here. How do you use it? For good or for evil? Well, uh, common to all, many, no? They have uh, hidden talents, just like the third uh, third guy here. He hid his talent. Maybe some of us have hidden talents. You have to use it, or else you will lose it. Maybe because uh, you will notice some of us have uh, different uh, many kinds of talents. Maybe some of them came from those who tell, who mm -hmm. lose it, who did not use them. Some are very talented, not just one, two, or three, many. And the more important here is <clears throat> what I said before: how to use it. Because if you don't use it, You commit uh, omission, a sin of omission. Be very careful with this sin of omission. Well, the sin of commission is much more common. But omission, we usually don't uh, notice it in ourselves. And the uh, more important thing here is. Uh, in the end of our life, we will have to reckon, make an accounting no? to God, what we have done with our talents. If we have used them for the good, for the bad. One of these uh, reckoning is that we have everything, if we have put everything right in our uh, lives, our relationship with other people, with our uh, families, Members of families. Let us remember. We will break or we will account for them all. So we still have a time maybe to correct those things that are not in the proper order. Maybe we have to uh, reconcile with ourselves, with our families, with anybody who we owe reconciliation with. 
because all these things will be accountable. Will be, you will give you will give an account in front of him, and in and when you face him, that's it. He will render judgment. No more excuses. So we have to use the talents given to us well. Because there's only two ways. Two ways. Either up Either. or down. Either heaven or hell. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mani. Uh, please unmute yourself, Tito Elmer. So once again, today we reflect on the pearl talents. What what does talent come? I really mean and what does talents come from? where did it came from talents came from word talent which is a greek given to the servants earlier uh, it was mentioned that a talent is about 24 kilos of gold or some other sources says it's about 33 kilos of gold In learning this parable of the talents, we look at again the thought that the Lord can, that we can appreciate something like a change of style in Jesus' message. The announcement of the kingdom is no longer limited to point out its nearness, but to the description of, the con of its contents through stories. It is the time of parables. So the parable starts with a great man sets out to start a long trip and entrusts his asset to his servants. He might have distributed them equally, but the the master preferred not to, so he gave one, gave each one according to his lab, uh, abilities. There's a five, the two, and the one. So each servant could capitalize with that money the beginning of a good business. The first two servants did mm -hmm. well administering the, their deposit. But the third one, through fear or laziness, preferred to hide it away and eluded any investment. He chose the comfort of his own poverty. The master came back. The master came back, which refers here to God the Father, and asked for a reckoning. He rewarded the courage and foresight of the two first servants that they were able to duplicate his entrusted deposits. But the treatment to the cautious servants was very different. 2000 years later, the merits, the message of this parable is still very much applicable. So you modern democracy has, are moving towards a progressive separation between the church and the state, which is not bad. Rather, on the contrary, however, this global progressive mentality hides a secondary effect, which will be dangerous for us to become the image of that third servant whom the master 
as I said, the biblical figure of God the Father, scolded too with a great severity, without any malice, just out of comfort or fear, we ourselves are running the risk of hiding away and reducing our Christian faith to a private environment to of our family and the intimate friends. But the gospel should not be limited to reading and a sterile contemplation. With courage and risk, we have to manage our Christian vocation in our own social and professional environment while proclaiming the figure of Christ with words and examples. So in the field of separation of church and state, the state can say, God does not exist. And if you say something, it's a day quiet, the state and the church are separated. And that's crazy. But St. Augustine cites, those of us who preach the word of God to the people are not so far away from human condition and from the thinking supported by faith that we may not realize our own dangers, but we are consoled by the fact that where our risk lies because of Christian ministry, we have the help of your prayers. Ibahin natin, usapan. Tagalugin natin para maliwanag. Ilang araw na lang at unang araw na ng September. Yan ang hudyat na pumasok na tayo sa buwan ng mga bre o beer. Maramdaman na natin muli ang simoy ng hangin ng Pasko. Hindi lang sa paligid, kundi sa ating mga puso. Kaya maghahanda tayo sa pagdiriwang ng pagsilang. Kaya sa darating na November 28, 2021, papasok na naman tayo sa bagong liturhiya ng simbahan, ang panahon ng Adviento, kung saan hahanda tayo sa tatlong pagdating ni Kristo. At bilang paghahanda sa kanyang pagdating, dapat nating ipayaman ang ating misyon at ang talento mula sa ebanghelyo natin ngayon. Hindi sinisukat ng Diyos sa pagpapareho ng paghahati ng kanyang mga pamana sa atin dahil kahit anong bilang ng mga, bat, ng mga buto na ibinigay niya sa atin pwede pa rin mag-ani ng sagana sa mundo. Ang ani ng malaki o maliit makaparehong sukat ang dakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya, wag natin ibaon sa lupa ang ating pamana, kundi isa buhay ito sa pag-aani ng sangkatauhan. Sa ating paglalakbay sa daang ito, naway gamitin natin ang ating mga talento. So I just remember, sometimes we think it is better to be able to return rather than to risk the failing and losing of God-given talents. Yes, it is when we are willing to expand our talents and gifts for the enrichment that we end up with more than we expected. So it's better to give it to other people and I remember the song, Don't Let the Fire Die, by Stephen Curtis Chapman. It speaks of the need to prevent the fire which God has given from burning out.
my question now is, let us ask ourselves, with what talents has God gifted me or you? How have I used these talents for good, both my own good and the good of others? Have I experienced the joy and enriching process of sharing what I have been given, who might benefit today from my passing on what I have been given? Yes, the talent it's not for you to keep it's for you to share with others and it will reap more amen 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 thank you very much tito elmer so in other words the god-given talent whether we are conscious uh, we are <laughs> conscious of that or not um um just like us um we are blessed to share whatever blessing it is, whatever talent we are given, use it in a good way and use it to share to others. Right, Tita MJ. Yeah. So if you know how to sing very well, share it with us. Yes. Rather than keep it to yourself. Yes. Will listen. If you don't share your song, in God's time, I will. So anyway, um, the three pointers, well, the three pointers uh, Tita Linda, please unmute it's yourself. Tita Linda. Yeah. Yes, the three pointers for today's yes. gospel. Number one, God has given abundant graces to every one of us. He also gives special graces to each of us according to our abilities as he understands us to be. Number two, we are to use all of God's graces to build his kingdom and not our kingdom of self-glory. Are we using his graces according to his will? If so, how? Are more people touched and drawn closer to God because of us? Number three, or are we like the third servant in the gospel who buries God's graces in his heart of self-centeredness and pays more attention to worldly attractions instead of growing in his relationship with God. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Tita Linda. Wow, very beautiful, very practical, very Tita usable. MJ, I would like to offer the prayer of St. Augustine that yeah, I know I have posted it too. The prayer to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes. Please go ahead. Beautiful prayer created by St. Augustine. Please go ahead, Tito Elmer. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thought may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my, Draw my heart, the Holy, Holy Spirit, so, so that, that I, I, I love, I love only what, what is holy. holy. Guard me, O oh then, O oh Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. I, I always be may be holy. Amen. 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 May, may St. Augustine will bless us, all our undertakings. Amen. 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 So that ends our prayer session for today. And see you tomorrow, Sunday. As a, a Father Danny promised, he said, see you tomorrow. So that means that he's coming tomorrow. He's joining tomorrow. So thank you very much. Bye. 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 Oh, good. Thank you all.